Hi there, Cosmo family. My name is Ali in this incarnation. First, I wanted to mention that this 20th, because you are going to see the video on the 21st, we had the perfection of the conjunction between Mercury in Aries with Chiron in Aries. I already talked about that. I'm going to leave that video uh, in the description, just in case you felt that energy, uh, so you can find <laughs> more sense in the experience. Um, and then I wanted to talk about a little bit more of Saturn and Venus in Pisces because tomorrow, uh, this 21st, it is perfected that this conjunction. And uh, yesterday I commented how we can use this available energy to co-create our reality, but uh, it is also important to take into account that every time that Saturn is participating of, uh, of the aspects, um, you know, every... Um, excessive energy in certain areas of life or energy that is not well directed in relation with our own path of the soul. Uh, we have to remember that uh, this is a, an, an individual recognition. So these kind of, of things can, could be projected in uh, certain lessons of maturity with Saturn that in the case of Venus could show in um, resources, could show in, in relationships. Uh, so the projection could the projection of the love that we are not giving to ourselves could manifest in those places and this emphasize with the energy of the eclipse increasing uh, because <laughs> venus is the is the regent and this i mentioned i think in the video of the eclipse too so this is a good moment to observe and to notice because uh, in in eclipse seasons there is a tendency of uh, the the resurgence of patterns of old patterns in order to bring them to consciousness and when i am referring to to the love that that we are not giving to ourselves or that we could not be given to ourselves uh we have to take into account that this could apply to many things. I mean, love is this energy, this frequency that in our evolutionary process, we learn to recognize as part of ourselves and, and as part of everything. I mean, love is part of everything. But these recognitions are, um, are given, are shown us many times through very painful experiences because um, the... The, the life, the cosmos, uh, you know, show us that what we thought it was love was actually a conditioning that we were executing because we didn't know other thing. That, that is a, an acquired thing. So pain in those cases is um, awakening us. But for example, if we are not capable of sustaining uh, a healthy boundary with something that we know that is not good, is no good for us or uh, for example of approaching or facing certain uh, situation from the responsibility of taking a decision that could be challenging could be challenging because it demands detachment or because it, dem it demands um, transcending fears etc or because it demands uh, effort and dedication because these are aspects of Saturn well if these situations uh, continue in time then uh, they lead us to a scene that is painful or that frustrate us with Satan too. Uh, so we can understand that they cannot be um, in, in our lives, you know, not because it is a punishment. We have to leave that conditioning behind also, you know, stop uh, without leaving behind the, 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 the using of the word karma as punishment. Because karma is everything, even the things that we perceive as positive, even positive or negative from the ego, it doesn't matter. Karma is everything. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that life is not punishing us. Um, you know, the, the, the things that happen are simply showing that those energies, th th those energies that weren't well directed, uh, were a distortion of love, were the, the, the familiar conditioning operating. And life is, is um, making this invitation to us to love more and better because that way we can create a reality that is aligned with that frequency. So everything is for our greater good, even, even though many times we cannot perceive this at the present moment. So... Um, I just wanted to leave this message today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.